right there. And nine for the game is actually okay. Curry deep three. Got it! With an What's up, everybody? It's Coach JB. Today we're breaking down Steph Curry's last 30 made baskets out of a pick and roll. Don't forget, you can save this video for later and share it with a friend so this way they're learning as well. Let's look at the breakdown. 16 out of the last 30 times he's made a basket out of a pick and roll, it's been from a quick pull up right after the screen. Five times he's had to split the defenders, three times he's turned the corner or got downhill, twice he's isolated and everything else he's just done it once. Now let's break this down and see how he's getting these shots. How is Steph Curry using these screens to get up an easy jumper? Well first of all, a lot of them are coming off of drag screens or sideline ball screens. And secondly, you'll notice that whenever he comes off of this, he's throwing the ball into his shot. This way he's pulling up in rhythm. Again, looking at the next clip, you'll see that when he comes off of this screen, he's pulling into his shot in rhythm. Now some of this stuff you can't replicate. Some of it he's pulling up from ranges that most people can't shoot from. If we look at this shot, this is basically shooting from half court on a high school court. There's no need to try to replicate that. Work on coming off of the screen, getting into your shot, and pulling up in rhythm. Now let's take a look at some of these clips live so you can see what it looks like in the flow of the game. The breather. Steph on Steph. Curry for three. It's 18 of them, Steph Curry, third in that category. Doncic 16th. Importantly with Rick Carlisle. Yeah. When H comes in, 38%. Curry a three. 